So you're getting tired of Football Manager and you think you've seen it all? Well, let me tell you something that will shake it all up. Football Manager is not a football simulation game. It's a football role playing game. And that is why the key to getting excited about your FM saves again lies in storytelling. And it's something that you can apply to your saves right now. My name is Coach Rohan and let me explain. I think we all recognize the feeling of being bored at FM. You're tired of your old save, so you start up a new save, make some transfers, maybe play a couple of games. You just can't seem to get invested anymore. And I think the problem for a lot of people is that they're looking at the game as if it's just a simulation game. This inherently limits the possibilities of what you can do within the game. And that is when you have to look at Football Manager not as a football simulation game, but as a football role playing game. Because that can bring so many extra layers and so much new ways of getting involved into your saves. So what do I mean when I say that Football Manager is a football role playing game? Well, according to this article, every role playing game consists of at least four fundamental elements and they are exactly what makes a game highly personal and immersive. First off, a role playing game needs character progression and customization, which Football Manager's got in the form of creating a manager, transforming a club and progressing from season to season. The second building block of a role playing game is having an element of luck and random numbers. And I think all of us can attest to that playing a big part in Football Manager, which leads us to the third building block, which is having a rich and interactive world to play in. And Football Manager's got that in the bag as well, as you can't get more rich and interactive than acting out as a manager in the footballing world. Now these building blocks are already present in the game, so what element of a role playing game will help us get invested in our saves again? Well it's point 4, Deep Narrative. It's the one thing that you have to do for yourself. It's the thing that makes YouTube saves so amazing to watch. And it's the thing I'm gonna show you how to apply to your saves. Now I don't want you to get the wrong idea. You don't have to be the next Stephen King or write a thick novel for you to get excited about FM again. All you have to do is think about five basic story elements and how they relate to your save. And before you know it, you have a save with a story that's so engaging you can't resist but keep playing. The first one is the easiest, because you don't even have to think about it. Every story needs a point of view, which means the perspective from which we're looking at the story. But since we're locked into looking for the eyes of a manager, that story element is taken care of. This takes us to the second story element, the setting of a story, which means the places where the story plays out. Now you might think that the story setting is another thing that we can't change, as the whole game plays out in what is basically a slightly more visual spreadsheet. But I would argue this is the first place where we can think of something a little bit more exciting. For example, how about a club in a very unique location, like Ceuta FC, a Spanish third division side that's located outside of Europe and in Africa. But still, a unique setting won't play nearly as powerful a role as these next three story elements. For a story to be great, it needs some great characters, and Football Manager has plenty of people to fill that role. You might think that only the players in your team can play a part in your story. But how about an assistant manager that goes to a rival team, an opponent's coach that keeps trashing you in interviews, or a rogue agent that keeps giving you bad deals? There's so many people in Football Manager that can bring another twist to your story, so it's important to keep your eyes wide open. On to the fourth story element, the plot, which means all the events that happen in your story. Now every plot consists of five components, a start, a rising action, a climax, a fall in action and a resolution. Now a plot will happen naturally when playing through the game, as you have a logistical endpoint at the end of a season and the climax will be in your deciding games. But it's important to realize that a save can have so many more plots going on at the same time. You can have a big overarching plot where you take your club through the ranks, where the start is the beginning of your save, the climax is the final promotion day and the resolution is being solidified in the top division. And something as simple as a contract negotiation can be its own mini plot, with the start being the start of the negotiation, the climax being a big wage demand that you didn't expect and the resolution being getting the deal done. So if you know how to frame it, there's enough plots in your save to get you right involved again. But the most important story element that so many people overlook when they start a new save is having a good conflict. Your main character, be it you as the manager or your club, needs to have a goal to overcome something. Now the most basic example of this is just trying to win as many games as possible, or maybe even win the league. But I think most of the people who are bored with Football Manager have probably won plenty already, so that won't cut it anymore. 
Another way to introduce conflict in your story is to try a challenge save, something that's very popular on YouTube, Reddit and the forums. Now in this type of save, the challenge itself is your conflict and there's a great many examples of some great challenges out there. But maybe you're not looking for a more challenging football manager experience, or you've already tried all the challenges that seem the most interesting to you. Well, my favorite method to introduce conflict in my FM saves is to try and find a more personal conflict. Because there's nothing more engaging than a conflict that comes from deep within. Maybe you absolutely love a player in real life, but you think he's highly underrated. Well, you've got your conflict right there. Try out a save where your only goal is to get that player as much success as possible. Or maybe you absolutely hate a club in real life. Well, there's enough conflict for you right there. Try out a save where the only goal you have is to absolutely destroy that club. Maybe buy all their players and release them on a free. Whatever floats your goat. But these are just examples, and they might not even be that interesting to you. The point is to find your own conflicts, which you will really care about and would really want to overcome. So how can you practically apply this to your own FM saves so you can create your own exciting stories? Well, step one is to switch your mindset and think of Football Manager not as a simulation game, but as a role-playing game where story is king. Step two is when you're playing the game, think about who your characters are, which plots are happening in your story, and which conflicts you're trying to overcome. Step three is to make sure that at all times you have at least one main conflict in your story. But it's at least one, you can have as many as you want. And finally, if you're looking at your FM safe and you don't like your story, rewrite it. The greatest thing about Football Manager is that the next big event is just one continual click away, which can start a new plot with a new conflict and new excitement, once you know how to look at it. Now if you want to see this in action, check out this video where I try to rebuild West Ham United, but I get a random challenge every season, which means a new conflict every season. I'll see you on the next video.